Alright, so for those of you just tuning in, my name is Resins22, and welcome back to part 3 of my Let's Play of Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. Definitely make sure to check the video description below for the previous parts and watch those first. And also, welcome to the channel, I do plenty of content for Age of Empires 2, miscellaneous strategy games, Nintendo games, and Ace Attorney is, of course, one of my favorite franchises of all time. Thank you so much in advance for supporting the channel by leaving a like and a comment as it helps motivate me to produce more AoE content, and it also grows the AoE community and my channel. Without further ado, let's jump straight into part three. I actually think this might end up being five parts. I'm going to try and keep it to that, but I'll... Let's do it! Hope you're all excited. <laughs> I uh, wonder if anyone is onto something right now, as things are really heating up with this case. That alone is enough to suspect less than scrupulous tactics. So right now, Mr. Wright is being accused of cheating. That is our witness's attempt to escape. She thinks she's going to accuse Mr. Wright of cheating at this game of poker and that he really was indeed losing. Um, Mr. Gavin? What's a full house? <laughs> Lawyers these days. You don't know your poker. I can't say this bodes well for your case or career. What is this? Some kind of secret court poker ring? Justice. You know the terms one pair, two pair, and three of a kind, yes? Um, yeah, no problem. Two cards with the same number make a pair, and a three makes a three of a kind. Good. Now picture a hand with a one pair and one three of a kind. That's a full house. Hmm, that doesn't sound very easy to make, does it? You can see each player's hand in this photo. Wow, they both have full houses? We forget, there's an easy way to make a full house and go undefeated for seven years. I mean, Mr. Payne does have a point. That would absolutely explain how you go undefeated in poker for seven years because Personally, I don't buy that. <laughs> but then again, he is a pianist who doesn't play piano, so... <laughs> the words of Mr. Payne, he explains it as, you simply cheat. Ahem. The defense may cross-examine the witness. If he did cheat in the last hand, that still leaves one important question. Mr. Wright lost that hand. Oh. I just skipped through something. I don't even know how I did that. Normally it doesn't let you do that. <laughs> okay. Well. We're on to another one of Olga's testimonies. That last hand. Both men had full house. There is four of each card in deck, from ace to king. If you look at both men's hands, cheat is more obvious. Oh, let's look at the hands and see what the cheat is. Mm. Well, for starters... This ace looks like it's from a different deck, just based off the style of it. So... I wonder if that's what that is? Um, but I'm not sure. Uh, I think I'm gonna need to press her for more information on this one, because like... It's not necessarily possible that that is from a different deck. How is it clear? Da, well the defendant, he played a fifth ace. A fifth ace? I still remember both hands very well. Mr. Smith's hand is three aces. Hey, do you have three aces? Hmm. 
There's no three aces in the picture. The, the ace is over here, and it's the right side. Now let me check this photo again. Oh! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. So you're playing with one deck of cards. So not only does this ace look different than the other ones, and it's listed right here, and she says it's Mr. Smith's hand had three aces? No, he had three kings. Ac according to Olga, but Mr. Wright has that ace. But these two aces are actually identical, so I think that's... Well, unless that's... Is that a heart? I, I, I can't tell. Regardless, that's really suspicious. Like, I, I want to see where she's going with this. Because Mr. Smith's... Mr. Wright's hand, too. Whoa! Okay, so... Interesting. I don't know. It's difficult to tell, but according to Olga, at least, she... It seems like... Uh, Shaddy Smith, the victim's hand, was tampered with. Obviously, cheating was afoot. Or perhaps I should say, a hand. Your Honor, perhaps this should be added to the testimony, without Mr. Payne's joke. Very well. The witness will add this detail to her testimony, please. Mr. Smith's hand has three aces and Mr. Wright two. It is five aces in total. It is not five aces in total. Unless I am blind, I'm pretty sure that's three kings, two aces, two aces, and... Um... Yeah, so there... No, I see... I see four aces. Um... Just in case game crashes at any point, don't want to lose my progress. OBJECTION! I see four aces! Where's the cheating? It, it, honestly, like, I, I don't, I don't see where the cheating necessarily is. Like, it, it, it's weird. But, there's no five aces. In fact, I don't see five copies of any cards. <laughs> I didn't read follow the line. <laughs> he was like, or should I say, <laughs> mistaken? But my name? <laughs> Look, this piece of evidence clearly contradicts what you said in your testimony. That's the photo of the chips, is it not? Justice. Perhaps you ought to explain your point in a way that the judge can comprehend. In other words, use your finger to point out your point. Yes, please point out the contradiction in this photo. What particular point contradicts the witness's testimony? It's the victim's hand. She said that there were five aces, but he he has three... I mean, I can't really tell, but those look like kings. So... Why, it's here, of course! It's where? Where is it you're pointing? Oh, is this supposed to ping the aces? Ping, ping the king should count. I swear it's it's this. Step stock. Ace Attorney Games. Miss Orley, you made in your testimony. In your testimony, you made the following claim. Mr. Smith's hand had three aces. But as you can clearly see with the epic music, the victim's hand only held two aces. Eek! Objection! Well, maybe the witness was simply confused. Perhaps it was the defendant's hand that held the third ace in question. OBJECTION! Take another look at the evidence. As you can see, the defendant also had two aces in hand. I see cheating all right, and it's going on right here in this courtroom. You tell him, Apollo! Bang that table! Two aces in each player's hand does make four aces total. Hardly proof of cheating. Wait! Please! Welcome to the stream! After the first, good to have ya! Welcome, welcome! <laughs> it is true, I have seen it, the fifth ace! There was cheating, I swear to you! That's odd. She must be lying if she's the most sincere I've seen her all day. You're right to trust your instincts. Mr. Gavin? 
Who knows what lies in store for us in the trial ahead? Your Honor, if I may, I have a suggestion. What might that be, Mr. Gavin? If you don't mind, perhaps we might examine the actual cards. The cards? Mr. Payne. Er, yes. The player's hands that night were set aside as evidence, were they not? The defense would like to request that the cards be shown to the court. Very well. The prosecution will submit this evidence. Which will you examine? The victim's card? Or the defendant's cards? If these cards don't prove cheating was going on, nothing will. Now, which of these hands is more suspicious? Uh, jeez. Um... I guess I go with the victim's hand. Mm, yeah. Because it's missing, the, it's missing this alleged ace. Because the victim's hand was the one that was changed over the course of the testimony. There we go. The defense requests time to examine Mr. Smith's cards. Very well. Mr. Payne, if you would. Very well. Received evidence, victim's hand. Well, time's a-wasting. Get to it, Justice. Y yes sir. When examining evidence, be sure to view it from all sides and angles. Try using the dials on the evidence viewer. That should give you a better perspective on the case. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> okay, let's do this. And uh -huh. They mentioned they were playing with two decks of cards earlier. Did anyone get that? Drakey says this is great. This is so good. I'm really glad to hear that you like this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. McKay says, see? See it as a mix of visual, novel, and logic puzzles. Thank you so much. I, I look forward to putting on a YouTube, but I need all of your support to leave a like and a comment. I make this big, because, uh... I need it for the channel, and also, apparently, YouTube doesn't review monetization disputes unless it has a thousand video, a, a thousand views in a week, so it's like, ah! But at least the likes and the comments help. What? Your Honor, look at this! One of the victim's cards! The back is a different color! Eh? Eh! That's... That's impossible! But... But I put that card in, in the right hand! What was that, Miss Orly? No, no, yet. Uh, I, I merely said that I have. Eek. Your Honor, M Mr. Gavin, yes. Tell me, what is the easiest way to cheat a poker? To, to cheat? I'll tell you. One merely needs a friend, a comrade, shall we say? Get it? Because she's Russian. <laughs> I love the dialogue in these games. The dealer! Ah! Ah! Wait, so you mean... This witness, Miss Orly! She's the cheater. A professional, I'd wager. I think Kristoff's onto something here. Nyarg! It's okay, she cut her board, she's fine. <laughs> I love the chat reactions. So no matter, I just said this is really cool. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> the card is your father. Gabriel says nine. <laughs> order, order. Focus, Justice. Time to take advantage of her. <laughs> I mean, of her mistake. <laughs> your Honor. I love this. I love this game series. I Hopefully you won't do as much as me, and th and this gets big, and I get to play more of these games. I God, I'd love to. Do. Please recall the testimony we just heard. That that's impossible. But they put that card in, in the knight's hand. Ooh, ergo, Miss Olga Orly conspired to cheat, not with my client, but with the victim, Mr. Shoddy Smith. And here comes the music. Oh yeah! It's the victory theme! We got him! <laughs> Oof! 
God, this game's good. It's not my favorite in the series, though. Which is why, if people like this, and I, and I really hope you all, again, show your support on YouTube. And you've all been showing your support on Twitch, which I appreciate. I'd love to do more. Because there are better cases. This is just the perfect introduction. But, ah, Steam rocks. Not only did she cheat, she cheated poorly. Therefore, it's not hard to imagine an altercation between her and the victim. Ooh, and you know what this means, chat? That she may have been the one to kill Shoddy Smith. Because she messed up the cheating. Shoddy Smith didn't win. And he was supposed to. What? Wait, you don't mean... The defense isn't accusing the witness, Miss Olga Orly, are you? Time for justice. There were three people in the room at the time of the incident. And if Mr. Wright isn't guilty, then that means... I am. The defense accuses the witness, Miss Olga Orly, of murder. Eek! Don't worry, the borscht is fine. <laughs> Asia Vampire says, I guess she didn't put the card in the right hand. <laughs> it was like the borscht in the Just do this as a pretty great viewing. Please, leave that as a comment. Seriously. Take the time. Thank you. Mr. Payne, where is your witness, Miss Olga Orly? Erm, um, it appears she has lost her consciousness, Your Honor. Hmm, Mr. Justice? Your Honor, it seems you've presented a new possibility to the court. One suggesting a connection between the witness and the victim, Mr. Smith. And that means? The court cannot pronounce a verdict for the defendant at this time. Nick, what? I did it! I held out! I see no point in prolonging the trial this day. The prosecution will need to make further inquiries. Objection! Objection! It's our pianist! Uh, um, ex defense attorney! M Mr. Wright? You can't end the trial here, Your Honor. Not yet. What nonsense is the defendant spewing now? Think. One of the cards had a different colored back. Don't you wonder what that means? Objection! What are you doing, Mr. Wright? Raising objections right when you're about to get off the hook? Ridiculous! Mr. Payne, you of all people should know, Mr. Wright has a talent for the ridiculous. Perhaps we should get to the bottom of things. Let's clear up the facts about the game that fateful night. As was said before, we alternated between two decks of cards that night. That was said before! The two decks of the club have different colored backs, blue and red. One color per deck. Why use different colored backs? If we use the same color, the two decks might get mixed. Um, use different colors, and they still got mixed up. We used the red deck for the last game. Hmm, I see. But that's odd. For some reason, I have this impression that you were using the blue cards. Yeah, me too. I'm sure someone said something about blue cards. Whatever. In the end, one card of the wrong color got into the mix, which means there was cheating. Yes, a card slipped into the deck would seem to indicate cheating. Yet, this raises two very serious questions. Apollo? Y yes? Let's consider the first question, shall we? Think. In the last game, when was the card swapped? W when? 
I'm pretty sure there are three broad possibilities here. It could have been swapped before the murder, during the murder, or after the murder. Well, yeah, thanks for the news bulletin, Mr. Wright. Of course it was swapped... Oh? It might be as simple as you think, Mr. Payne. Or it might not be. Nyek. I'd like to hear what Apollo thinks first. When do you think the cards were swapped? When was the card swapped into the deck? Well... Before the murder wouldn't make any sense, because... Well, Shoddy Smith would have absolutely noticed that. During the murder would be difficult. Like, especially during the murder would be difficult because... Supposedly, Olga Orly was, was in the room. She was the dealer. So, if she witnessed Mr. Wright murdering Shoddy Smith... Pretty hard to swap the card during the murder. She never brought that up. The only thing that makes sense is after the murder. Perhaps it happened after the murder. OBJECTION! What's that ridiculous? What's the point of cheating after the hands have been shown? That's silly! OBJECTION! Objection. Yes, but tell me. How do you swap cards during the game? I'll take that silly over impossible. OBJECTION! Take it from me, son. There's a lot of silly in this world, but very little impossible. That's a really good line, by the way. Oh? Even when the backs of the cards are a different color? If you pulled that during the game, you'd be caught in no time. Ah. Quite true. That would mean that the blue card in question was swapped after the hands were shown. After the murder. OBJECTION! Okay, this is going past silly and going straight on a crazy! I ask again, what's the point of cheating after the game is over? Who would do that? Who indeed? That's one of the mysteries before us. There's another? Yes, a simple yet decisive question must be asked. Who swapped the red card for a blue card? Who? The game? The murder is done. The victim is dead. Only two remain in the room. Alive, that is. The defendant, Phoenix Wright, and our witness, Olga Orly. Okay, so who was it that swapped the red card for the blue card? Hmm. That is the question. But I gotta check some of the Twitch chat reactions first. <laughs> Tricky says, oh thank god for the borscht. <laughs> Carmix says, I'm pretty sure this uh, this was gonna be way more twisted. It's an AC attorney game after all. Unless it's supposed to be a tutorial case, which it is. I don't know, I'm just guessing. Oh no no no, this, this is only the beginning, Corbic. We're just getting started. And uh, this case is super twisted. It's it's already it's gotten twisted. This is the least tutorial tutorial case there is. Prophecy says, but if it was after the murder, then Olga was telling the truth. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so. I sincerely doubt that Phoenix Wright would have been the person to actually swap the cards. That would be ridiculous. Uh, I don't think how... See, the thing is, is that, like... Phoenix couldn't have swapped it, because he wasn't the one that was cheating. And... I don't think that Olga could have done it as well, because... She admitted she made a mistake. Otherwise, yes, it would be Olga Orly. But, and by the way, if you answer wrong in these, usually you get penalized and eventually you just lose. But, it may have been someone else. 
We may have not seen all the witnesses in this case yet. That's what's the best part about Phoenix Wright, is, uh, in most cases, you don't know who's guilty. And in the two, in the small cases that they do, you never know all the details. Now I'm going someone else. The one who swapped the cards wasn't Mr. Wright, of course. And, well, it doesn't seem like it could have been Olga Orly either. What are you suggesting? That's hardly a logical conclusion, I'll admit. As the defense, I think it only makes sense for you to name Miss Orly at this point. Well, yes, I know, I... but... But she was the one who dealt the cards, right? I, I just can't believe she would make the mistake of swapping the wrong color card. And if the card was swapped during the game, it'd be obvious. <laughs> Something you'd like to share with the court, Mr. Wright? Oh, my apologies, Your Honor. I was just thinking about how much fun this all is. OBJECTION! Fun? How about confusing? I have no idea what the defense is claiming, Your Honor. If the one who swapped the cards wasn't the defendant, and it wasn't Miss Orly, then who was it? Er, yeah, well... That is the question, isn't it? Precisely. Huh? I believe we're about to see this case take a new direction. See, this is when you all get real confused. But this case ain't over yet. Oh no. And we haven't seen all the witnesses or anything. Oh no. No, no, no. This is, this is when it gets real good. And uh, there are a lot of unanswered questions from Miss Orly as well. And Mr. Wright. A lot. A new direction. We'll find that indeed. After the murder. Someone swapped one of the cards in the victim's hand. Don't worry, it was Corbick, right? Who was like, I expected something more convoluted. Oh, oh, we're, oh, we're get, we're getting there. Because this is the twist music. Propsy says, does this make Phoenix Wright some sort of sociopath? He's got like a murder trial for some poor dead guy fun, while confusing everybody with his testimony. Um, there's a lot of character development that goes on in this game, and across the entire franchise, that makes more sense if you've played all the games. But this is a good introduction to it because it's shocking to see Phoenix Wright actually like this, the legendary lawyer that we all know. But they will explain a lot of this as we move on. And that someone made two critical mistakes. John Fist says, oh I see. Only did indeed put the second ace of spades in, but that card was swapped after. <laughs> Running out of voice, cords of steel. I'm sure you're gonna tell us that the first was swapping the wrong colored card because the one who did the swap didn't know that two colors of cards were being used. Ooh. The other mistake was the number on the card. Right. The person replaced the fifth ace with a king. I'm sure whoever swapped it wasn't expecting that there was a fifth ace at all. All they knew was that there was a game that had been won with a full house. So they picked the king up from a table, and then they swapped it in. OBJECTION! But, but there's one problem! According to our case record, this person doesn't exist! True. Not until now. But you have to admit the possibility of a fourth person. Though it's more than a possibility. There was someone else there that night at the scene of the crime. WHAT?! I believe the judge spoke truthfully earlier. You do make trials ridiculous, Mr. Wright. This trial has proceeded on, proceeded on one central assumption, namely that at the time of the incident, there were only three people in that room. I believe this new evidence, shall we say, overturns that assumption. The problem is that you chose to conceal this information from the court. I suppose that is a problem, yes. Court is adjourned for a brief recess. Mr. Gavin, 
I'll see you in my chambers during this recess. Certainly, Your Honor. Very well. This trial will resume in 20 minutes. Hmm. Originally, I was going to end off there on that part, but I think I should continue a little bit further. I think I should. I think I should, because this is not the cliffhanger I want to leave you on. I want to leave you even more confused. Um, so... We're not leaving on this cliffhanger. We're leaving on a different cliffhanger. Hey, Aduko! Welcome to the stream! <laughs> Cal, Sans, Cal Sans says... Aw, oh, man, I freaking love this game. Drakey says, mind blown. I know, right? I'm glad that so many of you are enjoying this. Thank you so much, K2N, for following. Uh, I've actually, and I think I thanked Jacob Ree. Yeah, I did, yeah. Uh, good to see some uh, followers for me streaming Ace Attorney. Uh, this is really cool. I'm assuming that a lot of you, are you new to the channel? But yes, I've decided that. Now that I've blown all your minds, and that this case has taken a new direction, this is not the fitting point to end part three on. Oh no, it's not. Let's go with the recess, and then let's go back into the chambers and see what happens next. Then we end off part three. Christoph, in his own words, he is absolutely correct. <laughs> that was quite unexpected, Mr. Wright. Uh, yeah, like, in my personal opinion, Christoph is behaving completely reasonably here in that Mr. Wright basically got off scot-free, but no, he he's always had an obsession with the truth. Uh, and he knows that when Miss Orly lost consciousness, which witnesses love to just do in these games as an excuse, doesn't work very well in real court, um, doesn't work well in this game either, that there's still more information to get from her, and that this mystery is not solved yet. And even though he, in this game, is very different than the Phoenix Wright we're used to, he's still obsessed with the truth. But, uh, yeah, he gave up his early acquittal just just to get every little bit of information out of Orly, because something's not right here. To suddenly claim that there was another person at the scene of the crime like that. I must ask, is it the truth? Huh, <laughs> well now, I think you would know the answer to that, being my defense and all. Ah, being mysterious, are we? Sadly... I have no time for mysteries. I'd only ask that you leave the defending to your defense in the future. Otherwise, I cannot guarantee the outcome. I see you haven't mellowed out one bit, Kristoff. Justice. Yes, sir? The judge has summoned me to his chambers, so carry on without me. You did well, Apollo. Um. Can I ask you something? Sure. That locket you wear, is that really yours, Mr. Wright? Ah, you're wondering about the victim's disappearing locket. Here, you can take a look at it. That's a picture of my daughter in there. There she is. I'm just surprised to hear that you had a daughter. Most people are. Perhaps you'll meet her one of these days. One more question. The one who cheated that night, was it you? <laughs> the music stops in silence. What do you think? Huh? You know what happened seven years ago, what I did. It's not unreasonable for you to think that I might cheat. I, I, I never, honest, but it is odd that he managed to go undefeated for seven whole years. <laughs> you agree with the power here. Want to know something? There's only one game where you can be dealt bad cards all night and still win. Hearthstone. Erm, um, poker. Hey? You see, poker is all about reading your opponent. In that way, it's a lot like a court case. Poker is like trial law? Figure out what your opponent is thinking, and you win. Well, yeah, but that's harder than it sounds. I think not. 
Try as they might to conceal it, everyone reveals their true thoughts in the end. Their body language can become a valuable source of information. As we saw before. You're kidding! That witness, for instance, Miss Orley. She would touch the back of her neck during certain parts of her testimony. Did you notice? And there were other behaviors that she had that were very strange. Um, no. Come on, who noticed that? Words, habits, twitches. It's all information for the reading. That's the secret to winning, Apollo. Someone taught me, and now I pass the secret on to you. But I I'm not worthy. I mean, there's no way I'll pick up on these signals. No, you can do it. Huh? You just don't know it yet. What's he talking about? But you will, soon. Ah, almost forgot. One more thing. About this case. You should know. I haven't told anyone the truth yet. What? I knew it! I have my reasons, of course. All shall be revealed. And Apollo, I need you to be there, defending me. I need your power. My, uh, power? I had no idea my cords of steel were that special. It's time. The real trial begins now. Do your best. So he hasn't told anyone the truth yet. And this includes... Mr. Gavin, Apollo, the judge, all the witnesses. Yes. He hasn't told any of them the truth. Oh! <laughs> After the first Miss Wright's daughter did it. <laughs> You'd be surprised if they pull that level of shit. You'll see. Alright, we're back in Lobby Simulator. There is a fun fact there is a typo in this version of the game, actually, uh, which is completely uncharacteristic for any, and I mean any. Uh, of the translations for the Capcom games. And it was completely abnormal, but it actually happened in Apollo Justice. And I don't recall ever seeing a typo before in any other Mace Attorney game. So there we go. Kelt will now re reconvene. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cal Sands, for subscribing. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Miracle Lucis Hater has a Tillium, goddammit. Don't worry. I'm ending off part three real shortly. Cow, it's gonna re it's gonna resume. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is so sick. Has our witness, Miss Olga Orly, recovered? Y yes, Your Honor. Er, well, she's regained consciousness. Perhaps we can hear her version of the events again. That's the thing, you see. She's quite fatigued. You're looking a bit fatigued yourself, Mr. Payne. Sadly, fatigue is insufficient grounds for refusing to testify or prosecute. The defense would like to request that Miss Oily take the stand. Very well, the witness will take the stand. Perhaps you could repeat your name and profession. Or perhaps you'd rather admit that you're a poor liar and a poor loser. N-n-n-yet. Not. Dun dun dun! <laughs> Name's Olga Orly. That's the truth. I'm a pro dealer. People call me Olga Quickfingers Orly. Oh. Oh, really? Want to know something else? I'm not really Russian. And my last name sounds like Oh, really? There. That's the truth. I hope you're satisfied. <laughs> Witness, you will tell the court what you were really up to that night. Fine, I'll talk. We had a plan, see? Let me remind you that you are currently under oath. Any further fabrications will have serious consequences. Fine. Like I said, I'm a pro. That guy Smith hired me to do what I do best. I was planted at the Borscht Bowl Club several days prior to the night of the game as a waitress. 
So you were in cahoots with the victim? Not that he needed my help. Smith is a well-known poker player in some circles. But winning wasn't the main purpose of the game. It was about destroying a legend. The unbeatable Phoenix Wright. The plan was simple. Elegant, really. You see, we set up a trap of sorts. I was to plant a card in Wright's pocket beforehand. And then deal five aces during one of their games. When their hands were revealed, Smith would call him out and search Wright. He would then pull out the planted card, and the trap would snap shut. You swap the cards! Exposed as a cheater and losing on top of it. It would have made a great double play. Just like that, the legend would be dashed to pieces. Indeed. Getting caught red-handed at cheating would cast doubt on all his prior wins. A seven-year legend, destroyed by one little card. That was the plan. Oh really, Orly? How droll. But it appears you made quite the mistake. A mistake? I agree. The trap was elegant. Yet, what happened to that planted card? Hey, that's right! He's lucky. I'll give him that. You'd have to be to slip free from a trap laid by Olga Quickfingers Orly. Oh, really? The witness would be much cuter if she dispensed with the evil mastermind shtick. Cute? Who wants to be cute? I'm not cute. I'm bad, you hear me? Bad! When you're through being bad, perhaps you could testify to the court. Tell us about this trap and how it was sprung. Witness testimony, the best laid traps. That night, I planted the card like I was supposed to. And Wright lost the last hand, just like he was supposed to. Then Smith searched him. But the planted card was gone! The trap failed! The next moment, Wright picked up the bottle and swung it. It wasn't me, it wasn't me who hit Smith. It was that no good cheating defendant. Hmm, a surprisingly frank testimony that still leaves us mostly in the dark. The trap was perfect, I tell you, I tell you, perfect! If that rotten cheater hadn't messed it up. Look who's talking! Well, the testimony, for what it's worth, is all yours, Mr. Justice. With witnesses like her, who needs criminals? And with a defense like Mr. Wright, who needs prosecutors? The best laid traps. Well, I think on that note is uh, the perfect note to end part three on is uh, right here. So now we know Miss Olga Orly's true identity and a lot more about this case. But we're not through yet, and your support is seriously extremely helpful, especially with YouTube's new ridiculous policy where. Uh, I need a thousand views minimum on a video for them to review their, like, false automatic, uh, demonetization that they put on all my videos, uh, right off the bat. Never lost a dispute with that, and unlike Mr. Wright, or any, or, or Olga Orly, or, Sh or Shoddy Smith, no cheat involved here. Every time I run the appeal, I win the appeal, except now you're not allowed to appeal until you get a thousand views in a week on a video. So that screws me hard. So I really need all the support I can get. Let's make this big, everybody. Uh, I hope you've all really been enjoying it. It sounds like from the Twitch chat that uh, I consider this a success. I, I got some cool new followers. So thank you, DocPGB, for following. And I hope to see you all next Tuesday for the exciting conclusion of this Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney case. Thank you so much.